Here at Citizen Television, here with three veterans in the business, folks. This We're remembering former President Daniel Arab Moy as we get ready for the uh, official funeral ceremony next Tuesday at Nyayo National Stadium. And then on Wednesday, the burial at his Kabarak home. But in the studio tonight, joining me are people who remember him fondly, remember him in all sorts of ways. From my extreme left, Yusuf Washiro, veteran photographer in the middle. The man in the middle who looks a lot like the former president. Uh, he says, you know, okay. Lee Jiro, former press secretary and a journalist as well. And right here next to me, Motegin Jiao. Also a former veteran journalist who knew, who's, by the way, these three guys combined, we're talking about a hundred years. I was wrong, I take it back. It's a hundred years of service, if you will. 30 years for Yusuf, 42 years for Lee, 30 plus years for Motegi. That's, do the math. That's a hundred years. So these folks are the real vets. By the way, gentlemen, Mercy Oburu says a big hello to all of you. Oh, sure. Yes, nice girl. Yes. We acknowledge. Yeah. I know. She was my colleague. She was your colleague. Yeah, yeah. She exactly. covered you guys, and you know. Yes, you, yes, yes. She's a very nice lady, very yeah, hardworking yeah, also. Very, very hard yes, working. very thorough in her job. Very thorough. Mm -hmm. yes. Did she give you a hard time in her time? Oh well. She tried. Uh, you know, you take me on at your own peril, <laughs> and she knows it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, you know, you would say the same thing. This yeah. man, you don't take this man on, huh? He's no nonsense. Mr. Lin Jiro and Motegin Jiao, when he comes to work. No nonsense. Seriously? You yeah? must deliver, you like it or not. Okay, does that mean that uh, the journalism of today, has it changed from in your time? Because, you know, you, these guys were thorough. You don't mess around. Mm -hmm. There's no typos, there's no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Everything had to be double checked, triple checked if possible. I'm, right? right? I'm, right? I'm afraid that the standards have gone down yeah. drastically. Yeah. But not only in journalism. Even lawyers, even if you the mugging, even Manchester, the, the, the judiciary. Everything gone down. You see, if I if I, if I take a newspaper today yeah. and drink with a pen, yes, I, I will throw it to the editor <laughs> because there's too many typos, too many, right? Too many, even even facts, even facts, even facts, even a fact. simple facts, simple facts, stuff you can look yeah, up. Yes, yes, nobody bothers. Yes, it's terrible. But um, anyway, there are many facts. Yeah, the training is not there. The proliferation of Media houses, yeah. TV station, I don't know how many hundreds, how many radio stations. Yeah. So and there's no concomitant training. And then no no nobody no no mentorship. Yes. So right. you, you have guys and don't know employment the, the employment aspect of it. You have comedians in the radio. Yeah. You have uh, all kinds of people. Slay queens and slay kings. <laughs> 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 and again, and again, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You see, wherever I go to you know, I, I, I wonder. Nobody this days knows how to spell the word accommodation. Mm -hmm. yeah. They write with the single M. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows how to write the word dining, eating. Yeah. They, they write double dining. N. Dining. Dining. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, it's making. <laughs> Actually, I tell you, they do not even know how to write inoculation. Yeah. They put in double N instead of single N, inoculation. And it's they simple. cannot even write the word Boganivillia. I, I, I can't Tell write. How do you write Bougainvillea? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. No, you're right, Lee. You're yeah? so right. Yes. It's simple yes. tense or language or spelling. Yes. Spelling. Yes. Which is very unfortunate yes. because very unfortunate. most yes. most phones these days have spell and check. computers. Spell check. And check, check, spell check. I don't, I don't know why. It, even the pronunciation themselves, yeah. they're pronouncing once. Yes. And they, and they pronounce it wrong. Wrong. Exactly. Yusuf, what are you saying? It's, it's rather sad, so, because, for example, in our days, uh, we were covering, we would cover the safari rally using a regular car. Regular car. In a notebook, a biro, and a tape recorder, a yeah. small tape recorder. Yeah. And that's it. And, and what you're happens, writing in longhand. And then mm -hmm. after that, if you have to file, because the editor gives you a schedule mm -hmm. of filing the story. Mm -hmm. So when you get to the first, when you finish the first competitive section, yes. you must file. Yes. And these sections are known. <coughs> so therefore, what happens, the, 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 the reporter has to file the story within a time schedule. And that reporter does not have the technology 
the instrument yeah. the like you have yeah. today yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so you get to corner baridi you get to corner baridi yeah. and you have to look with your driver yes. look for the nearest booth booth yes. phone booth yeah uh, again the more remote you go the, the more the post office is controlling you and every post office operator has to make sure the line two lines probably um, the, the most if unless you are in provincial two lines are clear one is for the pc provincial commissioner right that is equivalent to a governor yes the other one is his deputy that's the dc mm -hmm. that line must be clear all the time so that when you get when a reporter gets there and you have to call the operator you are told just hold on so you can only file after the government Good machinery has communicated Lord. because the communication in the country was that uh, uh, one team yes that's number one that's the reporter sometimes if not most cases you get a booth the operator is no problem but the booth is not functional now and let's you have talk to ask for pictures. a reverse call a reverse call oh, again yes. uh, and the news editor has to the you news know, editor has to know watching don't yeah, even understand what a reverse call is yeah. reverse call <laughs> the, i think safaricom has started yeah, now. started yes, now. Please, call call. please yes. call me yes. the yes. other person pays yes, yes. okay that's yeah. what reverse now call. that's what the reporters on the all reporters on the landline were doing so the um because of expenses the news editor has to approve the expenditure yes that's that's now filing your story on phone for us who are dealing with images we were using analog material that's the field. was that the same with moi was that the same yes it was the same yes filing sending yes. pictures i'm talking about how would that you send period. your pictures that's exactly what i'm explaining my reporter me and the reporter and the driver the first thing we must look for is a facility called a booth after we got that one we'll leave him struggling there me and the driver will have to go to the nearest matatu, market please. to look for a matatu mm -hmm. and then wait for that matatu yeah going to fill in going towards your direction that's nairobi wherever you are in this country and then sweet talk the driver excuse me my name is jeff koinange from royal media yeah this is my tape Please, can you take it for me to the station? And is it what time? Yeah, or film. film. Mm. What time are you leaving? X. Well, we are waiting for one more passenger, uh -huh. then we leave. How many hours? How long will it take you to? Yes, to get to Nairobi. Roughly, roughly two, three hours. Okay, fine. Here you are. It, the material must be ready. All the captions in the paper, in an envelope. And who is he going to give it to? Will someone? This is the point. So after you have made that arrangement, you have to call your news editor and say, and say there's a matatu here arriving I am at Old in Nation Samburu, Center. Here yeah. I am in Samburu. Yes. That vehicle is expected X point at such time. And we were beating the deadlines. Yeah. Huh? We were yeah. meeting the deadlines. You mean there's no Wi Fi? <laughs> please, please give me a break. I'm kidding you, sir. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. And you okay. met the deadline. And we did. Yeah. 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 To, su to support him. Yes. In the presidential press, yes. we also had the same problem. Mm -hmm. this, we are in Busia. Mm -hmm. I used to do really. I used to put one car in Busia, another car in Nakuru, so that this one comes at high speed. Then hands over the material. To the Nakuru car? To the Nakuru car. And then drive it to Nairobi. And it's all and filmed, later, right? It's yeah, filmed. Yeah, it's later, filmed. I had now to go to see Moi. I told him, this, we killed one person there. One officer died. Mm -hmm. He wrote that order. Mm. On the road? On the road. Bringing the material. Bringing the material. So I told him, we are going to finish our people. Yeah. So that is the time now. Mm -hmm. I started That's using police aircraft mm -hmm. to come to Busia. Mm -hmm. And then again, when they fly the material to Wilson Airport, yeah. from Wilson Airport to Voice of Kenya, mm -hmm. it can take two hours because of traffic. Oh. So now I had to liaise with the police headquarters. And tell them there's this material. This material mm. is coming. Now we have a motorcycle rider, police. Good at Lord. one time. Yes. What? Well, it was uh, one How about you? Now, now, now. Go on. <laughs> to finish Jero's story. Yes. You see, Moi's pictures must appear in the front page. Yes. Yeah. Have to be on the front page. That's what I was going to explain. Page. Yes. So yeah. And if well, they don't, what if they don't, hey, Mutegi? What if they don't? How do you explain? Moi's story or no? Moi's picture? Not in the front page. How? And the voice and of Kenya must function. be the first item. Yeah, yeah the first, well, the second, yes. the third, the yes. fourth, the fifth, the sixth, yes. the seventh. Yes, yes. That's not the story. They, they, they must, you must wait 
So you hold your pages. So so what do you do? I mean, what what if that picture? What if that That's film doesn't show? That doesn't arrive. Then you then there will be no, there will be an excuse because they didn't they didn't bring. At but one he, time. You must wait. Mm. You must wait. Did, for would Moy call and say, no. "Wa bibi jayangu"? No. He, 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 he won't call. <laughs> but I, he would indirectly. Indirectly. Yeah, Moki used to call. What one? Oh, they ask the commission. They they will not they they will ask. Yeah, definitely question. Lee would ask, right? Yeah. If, yes, if, I would ask. Just would ask. Yes. What if, happened? If not him. If something, if there was yeah. a problem, genuine problem, yeah. you would understand. Yes. yes. Yeah. But then, if you get the material in time, yes. it must be front page. Yes. Or if it is Voice of Kenya, mm. the first item. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Yusuf. Please, please, please. No, no, hold on, hold on. That's no order of precedence. No, help, help me out here. <laughs> What if President Moy and you guys are sitting in Kabarak or Nakuru or somewhere, right? And the news comes up, VOK, and he's not the first item. What, do you do? what does he do? He'll ask me to, say, to check what happened. Yes. If it is Jao, it will be me and him. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's, that's, are that's, you serious? That's yes. Lived. So you would call Jao and say, Jao, what the hell happened? Listen, yes. newspapers go, they're taken by, um, by road. Yes. If they are late, nobody will buy. It didn't matter. As long as Moy's picture is not done. Yes. You wait at two. Okay. Even if your newspaper is late, yeah. you get to Mombasa, yeah. you have to wait. Muteki, did Moy ever call you directly? Oh, no. He once. Huh? He once called me. It's a very sad story. Go on. Go on. We were writing a story about corruption. Oh, really? In Western Kenya, Bungapa particular, there was a minister called Elijah Mangale. Mangale. There was fertilizer which was supposed to be given to farmers. Hmm. Shuakin farmers. Mm -hmm. They corrupted and they sold it with his friend. So we are writing that story. Mm -hmm. Somehow, boy, and the years. <laughs> One Saturday morning, they did not call me. The news desk, he didn't know he was calling. Landline. The landline, of course, there were no other lines. There were no other lines. He called the <laughs> line. <laughs> they, they called the line, the yes. right line to yeah. the news desk. Yes. I picked him. And he asked me who I am. I said, I'm the news editor. My name is Peggy Job. Then asked Did you know who it was? Yes, of course I knew it was. Who oh, doesn't? Moise, no Moise. <laughs> Moise. I can have you. He stole our Zidang, and I came on a digger. Nis Dolegani, Nadika Serab, as a dog, Munacha Vajinak. I tried to explain to him yes. that we are writing a story not about the minister, yes. but about the corruption and yes. the finalists. He hung up. Soon later, he called again. I, I called one get the monkey. I told him, he's the boss, he mm. was the managing editor. Managing editor. I told him, Mangavi. The president is calling. <laughs> you deal with him. I deal with him. <laughs> I try also to explain to him that we are writing a story about Ma, Mangale yeah. and the sugar. Uh, the fertilizer, the sugar cap. Did you know what happened later on? So that later, two weeks later, we are thrown out of parliament. The nation called, uh, formed a committee, a board committee, to investigate why we were rude to Moi. Oh my God. There was a board formed to establish how we answered Moy. The conclusion of the board was this. If Moy ever calls, we should never tell, talk to him. Just tell him, give him the managing director or managing, managing director or some boards, not us. Lee, let me ask you this. How come, how come you limited uh, interviews to the former president with the press? Why, why did you limit them so much? I mean, he hardly gave any interviews. Yes, because interviewers were insincere. Oh. Because they would come yeah. and get a very good interview. Then we would preview yeah. the interview. Mm -hmm. And then they would intercut. And then put very, very nasty uh, uh, insight. Yes. I don't agree with that, though. You but really, uh, uh, because I remember. I interviewed uh, the former head of civil service when they were celebrating 10 years of Moye. And they built um, uh, they built the, 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 the thing at the uh, Urupa. Yes, yes, that uh, Rungu thing yes, in the first yes. years. Then I asked the end of civil service, why are you building that thing to celebrate 10 years of Moye? And he said, that thing cannot be destroyed by any other quick. Then I asked him, incidentally, we are supposed to ask a question which you asked before. That is press conference. Mm. If, we, if we okay. Mm. Yeah, I didn't, I, I never used to do it, and then I never did it. So, do you know what happened? After that interview, 
they couldn't the tapes that you can't cut mm. they were analog yeah. you could not cut yeah, yeah. Uh, although it's on no time it was recorded but you could not cut that interview right so it went it went from that day i only went to kmbc kmbc last year in november I was banned from appearing there. I've never entered that place. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. No, wait, no, wait I I didn't, I didn't was your picture at the gate and they said, this man cannot enter here? No, no, no. You are not to invite me. <laughs> and I could not go there for the third interview. Really? Press conference ended Nothing. that day. Lee, you guys were tough, eh? You guys were tough. <laughs> Yusuf, hold on, before we go to break, <laughs> is there a picture that you took of the old man that Lee or those them they didn't like is it was there a picture that they that wasn't so uh, for, me, for for me there is none because I took advantage of the information that the foreign media yeah. uh, preferred or liked to portray the president in the most Negative. Uh, negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Both sure. by story. Yeah, unflattering, and the, and the, if you will. And, and, and the actual picture, the actual image, they, would use, they, they were not using the best to represent uh, an African elder, an African father. They weren't doing that. Yeah. So, as an individual, yeah. I took it upon myself, I must get the best picture. Was it tough covering him yourself? Yes, was it, it was, tough? It was very, it was very, very, very difficult, but, but you had to. With people like Mutegi Jaws and other editors of yeah. the nation, yeah. you had no choice. You had to, you had to wade between Lin Jiro's uh, uh, um, protocol. Yes. Then the security yeah, network. Security. security and security and then the deadline yeah. and the function. Uh -huh. You had to do that. It was very. Uh, but okay, was was it difficult getting through? I mean, like you said, Lee with yeah. protocol, yeah. security. I mean, that security. With, was, the, with Lee on on my case. I always explained myself, how are you? And I behaved within, you see, physically, when you're covering the, any president in the world, yeah. physically you're not supposed to obstruct Correct. the Correct. movement, yeah. the flow, yeah. and what. Yeah, you're supposed to be yes, like exactly. a fly on Exa the wall almost. Exa exactly. Yes. So I had mastered that. Uh -huh. Now, what the problem was now the security people. Yeah. So there are times yeah. when it's really the crucial picture yes. where you are done. Uh, yeah. There was and a time you, you had to, yes, you have to push, and you have to accept that push. Yeah. Because was that's it, was it just the a push or they grab your, you know, your goods, your, your stuff? They, 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 yeah. they, are so, they are so well trained. What <laughs> they will do, one will pull you backwards. Or, or step on your feet. Or step on your feet. Uh -huh. yes. And the other one is covering the lens. <laughs> so you have three obstructions. <laughs> you see, you see, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> my brother Mutegi here. Yes. Is a very economical with the truth. Go on. Remember? <laughs> yes. About 1997, Moi went to Kambaranet to present his nomination papers mm -hmm. for the seat of Baringo Central. He was being challenged by a guy called Amos Kandie. Kandie. Now, BBC, German television, Reuters, Middle East News, all of them, they trooped to Kambaranet. Do you know why they came to Kabaranet? Because they thought Amos Kandie would be torn to pieces mm. by more security. <laughs> but then I knew their mindset. Very early in the morning, I went to Mr. Moy's suite. I stood outside. He opened the door, mm -hmm. and then he saw me. You know, he was startled. He said, What is it? I told him, Muse, I want to see you. I told him, Muse. Last night at Singora Hotel, I gave supper to BBC, correspondent, to television, all of them. Yeah. Your Excellency, they have not come here to cover you presenting nomination papers. Mm -hmm. They have come to cover your security people cheering Amos Gandhi to pieces uh -huh. for challenging you. Yes. We say, what, 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 what do we have? We have money. You know, we can block sunlight with helicopters here. Hey. We can buy a thousand motorcycles. We have the money. We have the where with all. We say, tell all your security not to touch that man. Hmm. What did he say? He told me, 
Okay, leave it to me. But then, he did not want people to know that we had talked. Yeah. So he told me to go ahead. So, me the breakfast. He said, what we moved here as a security? Now, what the OCPD? I'm here, sir. This Kadir man, stuck in the Swahili, he should not be touched. Look for him, escort him, give him security. I want him to present his papers and molest it. You know, they were taken aback. But you see, he, he, listen. <laughs> after Musa presented, presented his papers, yes. Gandhi was coming in. He greeted him, he told him, young man, if you have done something good for the Baringo people, they will elect you. If not, I am sorry. Hmm. Ask him, Moirori, of Reuters. Yes. They almost dropped their cameras. BBC said, oh, no. <laughs> They did not cover. You know why? Because there was no violence. No, there was no, there was no violence. There was no violence. There, 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 was, there, 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 there was no news. There was no news. As a dictator. There was no news. As a person, <laughs> no news. As a person no who was intolerant. Yes. So when I tell him we take the jail here, mm. eh, that these people were evil. I agree with him partially. Mm. But if you see... Partially? Yes. Why not but entirely? You see, but you see, if, had he not gone to Moi, in the morning, yes, and told him, yes, that guy would have been torn to pieces. Nobody would have known. Would have been torn to pieces if you hadn't gone. Without his knowledge, if you hadn't gone, without his knowledge, with or without his knowledge. But you know, I've gone with him all over the world covering Moi. Yes. Oko, the little Oko. Yes. He used to call me every time they go out. He used to call me, Mara, is your passport ready? I say it's ready. Yeah. Then I knew there is a trip. Then go. We went, for instance, to Iran. Yes. I meant by stories. Uh, uh, yes, Tehran, yes, yeah. Thailand. No, to, to, no. Tehran, Tehran. Oh, Tehran, 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 Tehran. Tehran. Yes. Yeah. I've covered my story and filed through uh, his call. Wow. Direct, I, I left and call. It's, it's, it's Narube, Narube, post, post office, GPO Narube, Narube. <laughs> Prison Commission. Through his oh patriotism. He God. was good. He was very good at protecting. Let me ask, let me ask you, let me ask you real quick, real mm. quick. Mm. The most memorable trip abroad. Was it the, the Buckingham Palace? Was it the White House? Was it uh, the war in uh, China? W w the most memorable? I think it's just the China one. Really? The China was because it, it was, it was uh, there was an incident. Uh, Chinese people are very clever. We went to the wall of China. Yes. And there was an incident, another one, private one. Hmm. We went to the Great Wall to see. We had an, a driver and a Chinese escort hmm. to a guide. Hmm. You know, there was an accident in that Matatu. We were driving that. Mm. that, that. Do you know that those guys started speaking Swahili? What? Yes. We didn't know. The, the, the driver and the, the, driver, the yeah, escort? They, they started dressing in Swahili, telling us, cool, cool. There was no problem. <laughs> yeah? What? And I think the president, when he went away, when he went to these trips, during that time, they were very fruitful. Although so, there were some people who needed not go there. Yeah. But when you came back and wrote po positive stories about mm. the country mm. and about the conditions and about the co conclusion of water, but yeah. whatever, I used to write very positive, very good story. Yes. That's why you call I like me. You used to call me Mera, that passport. And Jiro was facilitating that. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. Very nice. All course. right. I'm going to ask. To, to support what you were saying. Yes. Now, were you, you remember, in the China war? Yeah. Were you at the war? Yeah. Yes. Mm. We were to of the war. Of course. Mm. Of course. Now, those days, I don't know whether it's still there. Beijing Institute of Foreign Languages. If people from Nigeria are visiting Beijing, yes. you are given drivers and escorts who speak Hausa. Mm. Good Lord. Or Yoruba. Or, or Yoruba. Yes. Yes. You don't know. If you are from, but they are told to pretend, to pretend. that they do not know. Mm -hmm. Because my driver never spoke English. The following day, he spoke English. I asked him, <laughs> why did you speak yesterday? He told me, yesterday, I had no permission. <laughs> he, he told me this language is not ours. Did you, ask, is, yeah. did you ask him if he speaks? Yeah, the, the language yeah. is not ours. It belongs to, 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 to the Chinese government. Yes. You use it when you are told to. Use it. Did he speak Kiembu as well? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Kiembu, do, you know, do you know, do you know my, my community? Mm. Do you know how many we are? Mm. 350,000 people. <laughs> 
That's it? Yeah, that's it. Who will learn Kiyembu? 350,000 people. <laughs> Have you ever seen a book in Kiyembu? No. Somebody called uh, Professor Marika Kabesha. Yeah. He wrote a few books. About the history of Embu. No, no bias. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. So much more ahead. <laughs> this is a hundred years of history right here, folks. I'm telling you, there's no better history lesson than right here on Jeff Kinegi Live. Keep tweeting. We'll get to your tweets in a moment and also other memorable moments of former President Daniel Arab Moy. Jeff Kinegi Live. Take a break. We'll be back in a moment.